guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. I know it's been a minute since I've done any kind of reviews on any products, stuff like that. We've just been doing discussion based stuff. But in this video, I definitely wanted to show you guys this. Big shout out to a sponsor of this channel, Contro Valley Custom Kydex. If you guys don't know anything about Contro Valley Custom Kydex, I'm going to leave them linked at the top of the description so you guys can go and check them out. There is a little bit of a wait time in order to get any products, but that's just because it's such a good product. So many people are trying to get their hands on custom made holsters. Now, the holster that I'm wearing here is not what we're talking about. What I'm talking about is this light holster right here. Now, for those of you who are in law enforcement or just carry a nice flashlight, if you haven't looked online to try to find a nice, good, strong, dependable holster, good luck. When, when, when I went over to this setup, and those of you know that I have my uh, my tactical vest with all my stuff on there, they told us that it had to either be nylon or it had to be Kydex. So I chose the Kydex route because one of my sponsors is Contra Valley Custom Kydex. Now, he didn't provide me with all the stuff I have on there, but I do use his products for some of the things that I couldn't find somewhere else or some of the things that I wanted because there wasn't a good enough product out there. Now, kind of quick little plug for those of you who like this shirt that I'm wearing, Go and check the link down in the description. This is one of the shirts that I custom designed myself. You guys can buy some of my merch. So kind of back to what I'm talking about. Now, I have a couple of different flashlight holders, holsters, whatever you want to call them, but none of them fit what I wanted. So I started looking around. I started trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Now, trying to find a Kydex one. There are different Kydex options now after the fact. I've had this one for a little while now, and I've talked about it in old videos. But at the time, there was not a good option. And there still, in my opinion, isn't a good option with the exception of this one. There's just options. At the time, there was no options. I couldn't find anything. And I found one that was custom made and the holster was just way too big. It tried to hold the entire light in there and there was just no play in it. You sat down and it would poke you and it was just too big. And then at the, t at the, the thing on top of that, it was, it was too expensive. I reached out to my buddy Levi, like I said, at Contra Valley Custom Kydex. And I told them this is the idea that I have. Now, what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to take this off of my belt and I'm going to show you guys a closer view of how this works, what it is, how he made it, and then kind of how we tweaked it. But I wanted to show you guys all my belt. This is my duty belt. This is what I wear at work. Like I said, all the rest of my gear does sit on my vest. This is just the part that sits down low. I got an AR mag back here, flashlight right here, keys here, one set of handcuffs here, and then of course my gun right there. So... With that being said, this is pretty small, kind of out of the way. It allows my light to move up and down freely without just falling out because of how much still sticks out of the bottom. So when I get in and out of my vehicle, this thing isn't an issue. It's not stabbing me in my leg. It's not poking me in my side. The fitment on this thing and the placement is perfect. I have nothing bad to say about that. And really, I have nothing bad to say about this thing in general, but I definitely don't have anything bad to say about the way it fits and the way it works. One of the issues that they ran into was for those of you who have this light now this one's old and beat up you can see I have three lights like this the stinger version light one of the issues that we run into is this is rubberized right here on the side so that when you're holding it when you're using it if your hands get sweaty slippery you have that rubberized coating to help you hold that light however you decide you want to hold it so it's a really neat feature on the light the issue is when you put this into a kydex holster that rubber is doing its job, but it does it so well that the rubber starts to grab the inside of that kydex. And if you have that kydex on there too tight, trying to pull this light out is a huge, huge pain in the butt. And I'm going to show you guys how we solve that. But that was one of the things that we had to get around. One of the workarounds that we had to do. I wanted it black. I wanted it small. I wanted something that was functional, something that looked good and matched the rest of my gear. And this thing does this perfect. Now on my belt, what I am going to show you is on the side of this here, it's got a slit all the way down from top to bottom. The reason for that, two reasons, and it's kind of a really cool little feature that a lot of people might just overlook. But what that does is, one, it allows enough play to where the light can move around in there. I can grab it, pull the light out freely, not have any issues with it getting stuck in there, and I can't get to it when I actually need it. The other thing is, when I need this light, if I'm in a tight position, whether I'm in my vehicle and I can't bend my arm like this to pull it all the way up, if I'm 
deciding that this is going to be a weapon because my hands are tied up and I can't get to anything else. I need to be able to get this out quick. And again, pulling it all the way up and out sometimes does prove to be a pain. So with that line slit all the way down, it makes it to where it breaks away right off of my belt. For those of you who know how quick you have to get to your gear sometimes, you know how important that feature is. And it seems like the smallest thing ever, but no other light holster that I looked at had that feature. And it's something that with Levi at Concho Valley Custom Kydex and myself kind of brainstormed through ideas together. I can't take credit really for much of anything other than the fact that I said, hey, this is what I want, and he made it happen. Huge, huge thank you. Can't say thank you enough. Like I said, he's a supporter and a sponsor to the channel, so go and check him out. But like I said, that right there is an awesome feature to have. I don't do that all the time. I mean, Kydex is fairly fragile in a sense. If you do that too much, you're going to start to loosen it up. And now you can reheat it up. There are, there are ways to fix it. But I don't like having to refix my gear all the time. It's just a nice feature to have. And it's nice knowing that when and if I need that, it's there for me. So like I said, I'm out on a call. This hand's tied up with something. If I can't get to a baton, which I don't carry. If I can't get to a baton, but I need something, whether it's to break a window, use as a weapon, deploy my flashlight quickly, because I do work at night. And if I'm in an area where I don't want to have the light out on my gun, and I need to get to this light quickly, it's nice knowing that I can just pull, turn that light on, and we're good to go. So give me one second. I'm going to take this off of the belt, and I'm going to show you guys how easy that is. It's got a little push button down here on the tech lock. And that's the other thing I wanted to to tell you guys is I told Levi I wanted somewhat of a quick deploy system I have multiple belts that I wear for multiple scenarios um, different jobs that I do require different things so I wanted to be able to take this off of here fairly easily and move it to another belt I didn't want it to just be a slide on type of thing where I have to undo the buckle and take everything off slide that piece all the way out every time I wanted to change it out so it has a little push button down here and then you push it out to the side and when the lights not in it this thing flips up it's going to be a little bit harder just because it's on. And it comes right off. And then it flips right back down. Right in. And then it's ready to go just like that. So give me a second. We'll zoom in and we'll check this piece out. All right, guys. So this is the piece that I was talking about. Amazing, amazing little piece. It seems simple enough. And when you look at this, you're like, there's really not a lot going on with it. But that's what I like about it. I like how simple this is. I like how functional it is. There's just so much to say about this product and there's really not a lot of component components involved like I said this tech lock piece you can get these anywhere Levi was just nice and smart enough to use this one because it was gonna work with everything that I wanted it to do like I said it has this little push button down right here and then this piece flips out and in order to lock it back into place you just push it back in and then this little button slides back and forth and when it's all the way forward like that it's locked I lied this way back is locked so now you cannot depress that button and it's not going to just accidentally fall off on you when you're out working. So kind of a really, really cool feature. I do have a tendency when I'm lifting up my belt to put my hand under that and push that. So if it didn't have that little locking feature, I might push it and unlock it. But because it has that slide forward and backwards to lock itself into place, I have not had an issue with this thing popping off or coming off of my belt. Now to get into the features, this was one piece of Kydex. If you guys can tell, that was pinched here this is what holds it in place and then was just wrapped around the light so that the light would fit inside of here it's got a little lip right here so that the light could sit just a little bit lower just so it's not sitting right here at the top if you set it right there at the top it really wouldn't have much of any retention so he sunk it down in there just a little bit to where it has just a little bit of wiggle room but not so much that it's just going to randomly fall out i bumped into things i've got this thing caught on stuff and i've yet to have an issue where it accidentally just falls out of the holster like I said, this slit right here in the holster, to a lot of people, it doesn't seem like a big, big deal. It's just cut right there. But again, so much functionality in that, allowing this thing to move around, allowing this thing to just pop in and out when I need it to. And as you can tell right there, when it's not on my belt, it is a little bit harder to pull out because that Kydex is form-fitted to stay right where it's at. It doesn't want to loosen up. So when you're here kind of tugging on it, pulling with it, messing with it, and you don't have the right leverage on it, it's not going to just accidentally pop out of that thing. But when you're wearing it and you go to pull it out of your belt, you hear that little click, this piece is slapping together, it pops back out, 
and then these things pop right back into place right where you left them so when it's time to put your flashlight back in there this thing is ready to go so as far as i know not too many people not too many other people have this i may even be the only one with this right now but i wanted to, to point this out because i know in my department we're allow they're allowing us to go to, to kydex and stuff like that and you can get different things the issue is finding a product that actually fits your need there's just so many different things out there and unfortunately they just don't work with what you're looking for now i know with levi at contra valley custom kydex that was kind of how he got into making holsters to begin with was he had a gun he was trying to find a specific holster and then quickly found out that nobody made that holster and nobody made it the way he wanted it on top of that so he did a little bit of research found out what it took to to make his own holster and then it just kind of blew up from there so with that being said he understands that sometimes you're just not going to find the right part online there's hundreds and hundreds of things online that you can get sometimes you still can't even find the right piece so he found that that little niche there he filled that niche for those of you who carry a flashlight like this or any other flashlight this just happens to be the one that i see more often and like i said i do have three of these every single light fits in there even though they're a little bit different um consider something like this hit up levi let him know how important his designs are i don't know if he's ever thought about patenting some of his designs or his ideas this is definitely a keeper i mean like i said i told him hey this is what i'm looking for this is what i want he made this thing work and it just looks clean. I have people all the time, as far as all my uh, law enforcement brothers and sisters who are always ask me, hey man, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? And I gotta tell them, hey man, I got it from Levi. You know, They're like, I looked everywhere online. I looked on eBay, I looked on Amazon and they're listing off all of these websites where you can normally get decent gear. They looked on all the cop websites and they're like, I, I can't find anything that works. So all of their gear is Kydex and then they may have like one nylon piece because that's the only thing that's offered to hold their light or some of them have a leather piece, or some of them have the metal rings, which I'm not 100% against. However, when you have this and that metal ring and you get to running, it just jingles and you can hear the noise. So at nighttime, if you're trying to be tactical and you're trying to have that tactical advantage to sneak up on somebody, you don't want your gear clicking and making that jingle sound as you run up. So that was one of the things that I wanted to ensure that wasn't gonna happen with the, the rubber on the light and the Kydex sitting in there, it eliminates that clicking sound that's about as loud as it would be with me running with this light on not very loud at all so again big thank you big shout out to Contro Valley Custom Kydex I talk about them all the time for good reason go and check out everything that he's doing over there he's doing big things he now offers shirts he has his own merch as well like I said if you guys want this shirt go check out my merch down below there's other designs that I've designed myself um, my podcast is now up and running again. It's been up and running. I just hadn't posted anything in a while. Not only is it on iTunes, it's on Spotify, it's on, um, I think, CastBox, soon to become an iHeartRadio, soon to become into the Google Play Store. It's just an inside look at my personal life, things that I talk about, things that have happened to me, things that are significant in my life that I just kind of wanted to share that I don't necessarily think go on this channel. So I have that podcast going. And there's talks about getting another podcast going um, where we can do discussions and reviews and different stuff like that, you know, specifically audio. So for those of you that are out driving around, you can listen to that podcast, see what's going on. And then don't forget my other channel is just vlogging. I have not put out a lot of vlogs and I apologize. For those of you who don't know, I just had a daughter here recently. So it's all about her right now. It's all about making sure she has everything that she needs and taking the time to record and taking that time away from her just hasn't been top priority for me right now not to mention there's really not a lot to record unless you guys want to see a baby drinking a bottle and then pooping every two minutes so again thank you guys very much for checking out this video subscribe if you're not subscribed let me know what you guys want to see for those of you on the giveaway i have not forgot about you there's a few things that i'm getting together right now just to make sure i got everything tied up but um for sure like i said there's there's going to be some of you guys getting some stuff levi's getting some stuff um albert's getting some stuff caleb's getting some stuff and there's a few of you, I think it was uh, Ronaldo, if I'm not mistaken. But I have a list of all you guys and then a list of things that I'm putting together for you guys. I have not forgot about it. That stuff is coming. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.